You ever seen anything strange in the sky? Over the years, thousands of people claim to have spotted an unidentified flying object. But what are they really? That's a question local investigators have been trying to answer now for decades. Recently, the government has spilled some of its secrets on the matter. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers beams us up to the world of UFOs and the people investigating them. It wasn't that long ago. Well, it was May 2020. And this Ford Galaxy is just up the road in Liberty. It grabs a lot of attention because you don't see these kind of cars too often. But Christian Vetter's star story began on the square. When the light was hitting his car just right. Can never get enough pictures of your car. When he snapped this photo, he didn't think anything of it at first. And then as I'm flipping through afterwards, something in one of the photos caught my eye. Three dots in the sky. You got three here. That's what I would consider the forma you know, familiar formation. Objects no one can seem to explain. When you zoom in on them, they look saucer shaped. Saucers, UFOs, supposed spaceships. Every now and then, someone snaps a photo of strange objects above. They're now called Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP. There is something happening that is unexplained. But no matter the name, Margie Kay and others want answers. She's a local leader in an international group called the Mutual UFO Network, or MUFON. You might have heard them mentioned on the X-Files. Well, this is a mutual UFO network member. Why don't you go see those MUFON members? This was part of a MUFON group. We all work together and collaborate to try to get answers. Group members like James Bear track sightings and share data. I can show you, is it having a hit? Bear collects and reports information on electromagnetic anomalies through a technology called MADAR. We don't know what is occurring. Unless you have the information, how do you make a rational judgment? They can also see data from other units like it all over the world. You can look at their data to see if there's a, a correlation with their our hits. There are a lot of agencies looking into this. The government has started to open up about UFOs and UAPs. The Pentagon published a report last fall. It says they've collected more than 500 UAP reports in the last 17 years. It acknowledges that they could pose flight hazards and potential adversary activity. They've also declassified videos. Oh my gosh, dude. These were taken by Navy pilots who encountered strange objects racing across the sky. <laughs> This summer, NASA announced that they were also conducting research. NASA should lead the scientific discourse. We need to elevate this conversation. But no one can say for sure what's up there. People are speculating that there may be something big on the horizon, that perhaps uh, ETs are going to let us know that they're here once and for all. No matter what people are seeing in the sky. There is something strange going on. But there are people who are investigating it. Kay and others hope that sharing information can lead to answers. Together, some of these stories could come together and paint a bigger picture because it's going to take more dots connected to, to get to the truth. The truth behind what's up there and beyond. In Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV5 News.